Hey there magic one, Bronya here. Welcome to your weekly tarot reading. Before we jump on in, this short introduction will cover how you can book a personal reading or healing, connect with me beyond YouTube, and learn intuitive tarot with me for free. That's right, you heard correctly. You'll have to watch on to find out how. If none of this interests you, feel free to skip this introduction by clicking on the video progress bar. All of the links for everything I discuss in this introduction are clearly set out for you in the video description down below. I'd love to perform a personal reading or healing for you. Follow the link below to check out the offerings on my website. Readings and healings of different durations are available, including handwritten tarot letters direct from me to you. To connect with me beyond YouTube, join my karmic community to be part of a guided self-development journey, hear updates from me, and receive special offers. You can also find me on Instagram and on Facebook, where I share more inspo and insights, but please do use the links provided below, as unfortunately there are fake accounts out there. If you're intrigued by tarot and want to learn to guide yourself, I have a free mini course to get you started and I've designed it just for you. You'll find the link down below and you can follow that to gain immediate access to this interactive online course, which includes over 40 minutes of video. To learn all the basics of tarot and my signature process for reading tarot from the heart, you can join the initiation, which is my four week journey that will take you deeper into the art. Or check out my other channel, The Wild Lotus School of Tarot, where I share my knowledge, experience, tips and tricks to help people like you get started reading tarot. Well, that's it from me for now. I am wishing you so much love and magic for your week ahead. Let's get on with your reading. Virgo, welcome to your tarot reading for October 10th to the 16th. Let's see what may be on the cards for you. We've got the nine card block here, Virgo. Three for your recent past, three focus energy, three future outcome. Oracles are lead tarot energy, and I've turned over the bottom of the deck for you. So, yeah, we do have the nine of swords at the heart of the reading. It does feel like you've been navigating some kind of stressful situation here, Virgo. However, we also have the nine of pentacles, which is your best, you know, earth sign self. So I feel like you can make some moves this week to take yourself out of this feeling of overwhelm that you have been dealing with. Okay, so the first oracle out is break the chain. It talks about ancestral patterns, healing, and rewriting the future. So I'm wondering if there has been a cycle that has been repeating in your life, okay? Now, this could be to do with relationships. It could be to do with, with your work situation. Um, some kind of pattern that keeps putting you in a state of stress. And you might be thinking, oh, I've been here before. How did I get back here? You know, and, and it really is because... You know, there's a pattern playing out that needs to be healed, that needs to be resolved. And maybe you are the one, Virgo, to break this chain. Maybe it's gone all through your family line as well. And by doing that, by even just acknowledging it and acknowledging that um, in your shadow side, you know, you can actually make different choices in the moment. And that's how you actually rewrite your future confidence is the key to your success so you might need some strength some courage some determination to move through this and tr and choose something new high priestess is here and it's the card of heightened intuition so you might be getting some big intuitive hits here virgo and uh, maybe about what you need to do next maybe about you know what is wrong in this situation the high priestess sits at that threshold between, you know, the underworld and, you know, the, you know, the normal reality. So she is my Helen Back card as well. You literally might have been on that journey and it's now time for you to, to make those different choices and claim your happiness. The Ten of Cups is where you want to end up here, which is a very, you know, happy reality with the people and the family around you that you want. In whatever way you can create that in your life stage and having your resources met and living somewhere that you feel comfortable but I do feel that there are some changes that that need to to be made here so I'm going to jump into the cards I'm going to move around a little bit but um I just feel that you've been dealing with somebody I'm looking at that six of pentacles 
who has been really, you know, controlling things in your reality. Now, um, this is a general reading for the collective and I'm reading an energetic pattern. So it could be playing out personally or professionally, but I'll give you some examples. The Six of Pentacles for me in uh, love and relationships could be somebody who is emotionally withholding or plays those games where they give you just enough to keep you there, but not enough to sort of, you know, make you thrive. Okay, so they kind of create that that, that situation of neediness. Um, it could be that they are the one that's controlling the finances. Therefore, you might feel out of power and you might there might be a codependency here. In work or career, this would be, you know, that, that manager who, you know, is underpaying you or, you know, not giving you what you truly need um, to progress. However, you know, you, you might feel powerless and actually, you know, moving on somewhere else because it's also the hand that feeds you. So I feel that there's a stressful situation here. Um, the person that you're dealing with may also be making some big promises. We've got the Seven of Cups and the Seven of Swords, which for me would be the energy of somebody around you who is painting like a a picture of, of a reality, maybe of a Ten of Cups reality, okay? But the actions and the follow through isn't actually there to create it. So it is a fantasy and it is an illusion. Now, this could be the chain that you're needing to break is you know, believing everything that people say or believing the people that, you know, talk a big game, but don't follow through because the seven of swords is also an element of deception. But you've got seven, seven, seven here as your angel number. If you've been seeing that number, this is for you. You know, it feels like you, this can't really be attained in this particular situation. And you might be left in this nine of swords saying, well, where's my, you know, where's my 10 of cups reality? Why isn't this happy? Why, why are things not materializing? The seven of cups can be, it just always feels out of reach. Okay. And that can be the deception that can be the sabotage. And it might be that somebody's saying all the right things on the outside, but they're not really acting in alignment with that. So I just feel with the chariot here that there is the energy of moving on from this to really claim that victory, okay? The chariot talks about freedom and liberation from situations that although there is an element of security and comfort within them, they are not, you know, delivering what you've hoped for and they're not really, I feel like it's keeping you in a position where your confidence and worth is knocked a little bit. And this is a lesson of you stepping into your independence, Nine of Pentacles. And that's where your true success will lie. And it, it feels like you actually have all of the resources, the know-how, the intelligence that you need to, to take this journey. But it is going to require a very aligned and, and strong decision on your part, Virgo. Can see how the charioteer is pushing a very heavy stone chariot with just a magician's wand okay meaning it's really just through intention and it feels like you're literally you know moving uh, rock here you know because there's a part of you that's quite rooted in this situation and these sphinxes right standing for our duality our being in two minds they're sort of heading off in opposite directions meaning if we're not fully clear and owning that decision then our chariot will will take the long and windy road and hey, maybe it won't even reach the new destination. Maybe it will turn around and go back to where you've come from. So an aligned decision and really recognizing your confidence and your um, ability to succeed in this moving on. Okay, because the Nine of Pentacles is a very independent um, energy. And I think that you are being asked, Virgo, to to have a chapter where you're really standing on your own two feet and you're really standing in your worth and your power and your full independence, okay? Now, the Page of Wands is here. This is really a few different things. This can be a card of good news, a message of good news that that piece that you need, whether it is a, a new home, a new job or help or maybe even, you know, some financial help to allow yourself to transition from the situation it feels like you will get a positive answer on that if you have applied for something in those lines the page of wands is about the pursuit of new growth new passion and being on purpose really starting out a new adventure in life okay after you've broken this chain that's going to allow you to manifest what you truly want 
Now, um, the Four of Swords is here, and this is really about taking a pause to recover. We see the Three of Swords here, meaning there could be some hurt, there could be some disappointment here, and you may just need uh, to take a moment to process that, but also to, you know, in order to get your, your clarity on the battle plan ahead and what you're really needing to do, I feel like you will need to make a practical methodical plan and break it down into milestones, timelines and actions and move ahead from that place. That's the Knight of Pentacles. In fact, Virgo, that should become be your natural energy because this is the minor arcana of, um, of Virgo. It's saying that you have the opportunity to lay a new foundation now. And although, you know, it might be slow and steady wins the race, the sooner you begin, the sooner you can start building your own independent success and your own happiness. But you'll need to have the confidence to break the chain, uh, you know, that is binding you in the situation that you are currently in. So Virgo, let's get another one for the outcome. The Three of Wands. Yeah, the Three of Wands is about putting the past behind you and moving on to new adventures where you're really going to broaden your horizons, where you're really going to expand. And it might be that you're at the threshold of taking a, a leap of faith here into the new. But with the Ace of Swords at the bottom of the deck, it feels like the victory is yours. You are, This is a breaking free energy, I'll have to say. It's a liberation energy. And, you know, yes, it feels hard, but, you know, the payoff is that you get to get out of this Nine of Swords energy. And I feel really finally, feel like you've been successful in your own right. So, Virgo, I'm wishing you all the best with that, making your moves this week. Um, do keep in mind it's a general reading for the collective. It may or may not be for you, but drop me a comment if you're cool to share, because I do read them all and try to connect with you all over there. And please do hit subscribe on your way out to support the channel and keep so many of the free readings coming. I'm wishing you so much love and magic, Virgo. Do take care. Bye for now.